Adopt Me is going to be bringing back every single old egg in the future. That's correct, so if you've never had yourself a chance of going and getting one of your favorite pets, such as a giraffe or an owl, now you're actually going to be able to go and get your hands on these pets pretty easily, which is quite some shocking news to all of those collectors. If you are a big fan and have always wanted to go and get yourself a giraffe like most people in Adopt Me, you'll absolutely go crazy at the thought of being able to go and hatch a giraffe, an owl, or a pirate inside of Adopt Me, something which you typically cannot go and get inside the game right now because you haven't been able to go and get these eggs for such a long time because they just keep introducing new eggs, meaning the value of these pets keep on rising. Well, believe it or not, Adopt Me's actually known this and they want to go and discuss this, so you all will be able to have a chance of going and getting these old pets back into the game. The main concept behind this is that old Adopt Me players or new Adopt Me the main concept behind this is that no dummy players will just never have the chance of being able to go and get these pets because they only joined recently and their goal is to go and get every single pet in Adopt Me and obviously they can't go and do so because these pets are not obtainable anymore, meaning it's really hard to come across and new people just aren't ever going to be able to go and get them unless they spend so much time playing the game. Which is why Adopt Me themselves are actually considering and have discussed bringing back old eggs. So right here is the ocean egg. We all know what the ocean egg contains and we all know what was before. That was a fossil egg before the fossil egg was an Aussie egg and things from the Aussie egg are now pretty rare such as like the turtles or the kangaroos or any of them. But what if I told you that Adopt Me said themselves that they will bring back old eggs and make them slightly different. So in the future, we might have a brand new safari egg, a new farm egg, a new Aussie egg containing the old exactly the same pets, but with a slight variation to them. And I'm going to go and kind of explain this more in depth. So this right here is my collection of pets. I'm actually doing really well. I'm pretty sure I have nearly got every single pet inside of Adopt Me. Um, I need to buy another squirrel. I kept buying squirrels and giving them away to the point where I have given away too many squirrels and I don't even have one. And I also need a shark because again, I keep giving these pets away. So after I get them, I'm going to have a 100% complete inventory, which is very epic. But most people who play Adopt Me probably won't have this. I've been playing every single day for over one to two years now. And I still don't even have every single pet, which is kind of crazy to think. So let me know down below what favorite pet you're most excited for to come back into Adopt Me. I think the most excitable one is going to be the draft, just because the draft has such a high demand and everyone wants to go and have themselves a pet draft in Adopt Me, so I'm assuming that is what's going to be most popular, but if I'm wrong, let me know down below in the comment section. So a while ago, there was this interview between this person called Jesse. Jesse is a member of the staff team for Adopt Me. He manages the weekly Adopt Me news and also creates lots of social media posts. And what Jesse did was a little interview over on the official Adopt Me channel. This interview discussed the potential of bringing back old pets, a very controversial topic. Because obviously, if we go and bring back a giraffe, the giraffe's rarity is just going to be terrible. Like the giraffe right now is worth like shadow dragons or frost dragons. And if we are to go and bring it back, its rarity will just plummet. Which will obviously annoy the community of Adopt Me and probably make people not want to play. Which is why the factor of this second variation would come in. So instead of saying Adopt Me version so instead of saying Adopt Me Albino Monkey, it will now say Adopt Me Albino Monkey version 1 or season 1 or the year that it was obtainable from. And then it will be replaced with a new one which will then say Adopt Me Albino Monkey version 2. And there might be some slight variation to it, meaning you could collect both but they're actually the same pet. This means that the old one will still be rare without replacing it and they're introducing a new variation of it for all of the people who really wanted to get one. This also saves Adopt Me time from going and making new pets and designing them and also allows them to go and get people what they want. Everyone wants giraffes to come back so I guess Adopt Me will probably go and do what they want and give it to them back. 
which makes sense. Obviously, they want the community to be happy, so they're gonna try their best to make sure that this happens inside of Adopt Me. Okay, so what I'm about to show you right now is an actual interview between Jesse from an old Adopt Me video. This wasn't too long ago, but I'm gonna let you guys have a listen, and you can listen for yourselves and find out all the information about what I'm talking about. Are there plans to bring back any of the old eggs in the future? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, we don't know, so... So they're currently saying that they don't know what the plans are, but he's going to further explain between Josh and Jesse about what the plans are. So we've had a lot of discussions about this and we've talked to a lot of players as well. So there's a balance between like new players. Let's say you're a new player who joined like today, like you're watching this video and you go play for the first time. So there's a lot. Okay, so they're starting to talk about the ideas of the old players versus the new players. I'll just continue to let this video play, but I think I have to talk to uh, make sure Adobe doesn't copyright me. But let me just play the rest of this video so you guys can go and understand what this means. A lot of old eggs, which you just have pets you just can't access. But on the flip side, obviously people, if you can't get the pets, they're more rare. Um, so we wouldn't want to like hurt people's, the value of people's pets. Something yeah. we've talked about doing is doing like a version 2, like jungle egg. So right there they just explained the idea of a version 2. So a jungle egg version 2, instead of being version 1, where it's the original one, there would now be a new variant. This new variant could be something slightly different. It could contain one new pet, or it could be the same pets, but maybe a slightly different color, or something slightly changes. But we'll continue with this interview and let you know what Adopt Me also says about this update or something. Uh, maybe it has like two extra pets in it, but all of the pets are clearly marked as from version 2. So although they're like the same pet, or, or they're the same pet with a slight difference, there would be like version 1 jungle egg pets, which would be clearly marked as such, and then like version 2 jungle egg pets. I hope that explains it. This was actually by the official Adopt Me team. A genuine interview between Jesse and Josh, both staff members for Adopt Me. You can go and check this out on the official player Adopt Me's account if you guys do not believe me. We're going to continue and keep listening. So the, like a version 1 giraffe would still be rare because it, it was from, you know, the 2019 egg or whatever. Kind of like in trading cards or something, you know, you, you, or you can get or like a, a print run, you know, you, it would be clearly marked as being from a specific. Yeah, it's something we're thinking about. It's not something we plan on doing anytime soon necessarily. So they said it's not something they plan on going and doing anytime soon. However, this video was posted like five to six months ago and we're yet to hear any more information about it, which is quite interesting. And considering it's gonna be coming sometime soon, um, not anytime soon, that could mean it could come out actually soon. Um, so this update could be coming out in the near future because they've discussed it. They've talked about these ideas which is obviously a good start, something fun to look forward to, and it is quite interesting. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. I'm intrigued to hear what you guys think. Are you guys gonna be really sad if Adopt Me goes and brings back a jungle egg or a safari egg, and you'll then be able to go and get some pets that you haven't been able to obtain because they weren't in the game when you started? If Adopt Me does decide to go and tell us any more information about the re-release of old eggs, I'll be sure to go and let you guys know first over on my YouTube channel So be sure to be subscribed with those notifications on anyway guys. Thanks for watching if it's your birthday Happy birthday use star code candy when purchasing robux and I'll see you guys next time. Bye <laughs>